Hi, 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 hi. Hi, I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I want to I want to welcome you to the moon. So as you can see, our moon is a very beautiful globe that has a bunch of craters. If you can, yeah, those are just details, aren't they? Um, yeah. So we have a bunch of craters on the moon. So today, what we're gonna try to do? What is that? Strange. That's just weird. What is that? Huh, weird. Okay, maybe the southern lights. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hmm. Okay, so um, today I'm going to try and recreate this beautiful, beautiful, amazing thing right here. Uh, in Universe Sandbox to try realistically. Um, and for some reason I have a temptation to launch something at this. Bam. Okay. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Temptation gone. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so, now we have, now let's actually try and make this. Okay. Let's go to a new simulation. I don't know why it keeps auto saving. Um, so what we what we're gonna start by creating early Earth, and early Earth is gonna be well. Let's just use Earth because it's an easier presentation. But yeah. Okay, never mind. Uh, yeah. So we have Earth here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and recreate the moon and uh, the. Th Right now, the theory is that a Mars-sized object named Thea um, crashed into Earth. Something like on the edge, like this. Okay. Is it moving? Yes, it's moving. Let's just speed it up a little. Okay, so now let's look at the collision from above. Okay, ready? Here we go. And the, and Mars hit Earth at a angle like this. And a bunch of fragments sprayed out like, well, like this. As you can see, there are a bunch of fragments here. So that's kind of what happened. So all these fragments eventually coalesced into a ring and basically, um, yeah. So let's just speed this up to see if any, whoa, what an awesome fragment. Oh man, never mind. <laughs> okay, so uh, we want, so basically what we want is an object that is big enough, just like the moon, um, to be orbiting Earth. Yeah, so we have Earth right here. And what we want is a thing that's orbiting Earth. For example, this fragment is technically considered a moon. Never mind, it just crashed, didn't it? <laughs> okay, so that's kind of what we mean. Uh, that's kind of what we want. Okay, so I'm gonna retry this in a different simulation. Or actually, I can do this in this simulation, I think. Uh, okay, so let's try one more time. Or a few more times. Okay, so... Mars is right here. Okay, so let's retry. We're gonna... And I'm, I'm just gonna fast forward this because this can take a while. And we want any object orbiting Earth. So I'm gonna just speed this up so you don't have to watch me. Trial and error. You know. Okay, so that didn't work, did it? Okay. Let's just, first of all, let's cool Earth down again. Surface, uh, whoa. 
through. Okay, now I'm gonna speed it up because it could take like so long. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, uh, it looks like we have few, we have some fragments that are kind of wanting to orbit Earth. So, this is kind of not really what I wanted, but I don't think it's gonna be able to actually do it. And by the way, I was using Venus because I didn't wanna, <laughs> I didn't wanna cause damage to Earth. Okay, so, let's cool it down. First of all. Um, okay. So, now what we can do is we can cool down Venus, or we can actually just wait to do that, but, okay, um, okay, zero, and fragments, we can make this auto orbit too, oops, auto orbit. Okay, and we can do this. Hey, there's another one. Okay, let's just auto orbit this one quickly. Actually, we might have a few objects like this one right here. I can't click on it, can I? All right, so I used Venus for this example, but I guess I'm gonna have to change it to Earth. So let's just quickly make it habitable. Um, how do we do that? First of all, let's turn the atmosphere color to, I'm not sure, just. Hmm. Okay, um. Let's see, um, where do we go? Composition. Um, let's put it one gauss. And then here, let's put, no wait, it wouldn't be there, would it? Um, it'd be in here. Atmosphere, one earth. Much better, okay. And put this in atmospheres, put one. Okay. And how do you make the atmosphere? How do you make the atmosphere a different color? Let's see. That's black. Isn't it? Okay, um, this is kind of not really. Ah, okay. Now it won't show the atmosphere. Well, that's not that good, but okay, whatever. Okay, so let's add some water to this first of all. Okay, so now we have liquid water on its surface. Woohoo! Okay. So let's set. Whoa, okay. Let's set this to zero and let's set. Set. This to 20. 
Okay, so now let's name the fragments and, well, let's change the temperature of the fragments. Yeah, fragments, zero. Hey, it's already pretty low. Okay, I think we can leave that one alone. Okay, so it's showing orbits. So let's see how they interact. Maybe one of them will be kicked out or something. Let's see. Let's see how the orbits change. Well, they're not changing much, I guess. Okay, I'll just let this run for a few minutes and tell you how it goes. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot that's changed. All these fragments have been interacting with each other through gravity. And look at this fragment. It's like so stretched out. It's really good. It's really cool. So that is actually great. It's kind of and we can delete this fragment and we can delete this fragment here. And now we have one fragment. Yay, okay, so we have a moon called Fragment. Uh, we can change that later. But yeah, we have a moon. And actually, let's um, first of all rename this to Earth. Earth, kinda. Okay, so now we have Earth, kind of, and let's n rename this Moon. We can set this into Moon and put one. And we can change this to the radii of the Moon. Change this to one. All right, and we can move it out so that its orbital period is 28 days. And so that its rotational period is also 28 days. And now we have our moon. Woohoo! Great, great, yay! Well, we kind of cheated, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, we basically have made our moon. It's not circular, obviously, so we have to fix that, don't we? Um, but yeah, so, um, yeah, so. I guess see you later at howtodosomethen.com. Also, I have, check out my YouTube channel, my YouTube channel right here. Um, also, you can try, you can also check out my, um, you can also check out my blog on my, on my, um, on my website, or you can actually, actually, um, or you can just subscribe to my channel and follow me. Um, I don't know how you can follow people. Um, that's creepy. Uh, no. Uh, okay, so see at how to do stuff with Ethan dot com. How to do stuff with Ethan dot com, and see you next time. Bye.